assalam alaikum in this lecture we will learn about css position so let's create a new file css position and the html file with the title css position let's write some html start with the heading h1 and let's create a section and a div And here is our HTML. Let's apply CSS position. So the style and for the div width 200 pixels and height 100 pixels. So here are divs. Let's assign a border, 2 pixel, solid and red color. So here are the divs. Let's assign display in line. And here you can see that all the divs are in line. So the inline don't care about the width and height. If you want to use inline with the width and height, then use inline block. Let's assign class to this div fixed div. Let's write some CSS for fixed div position fixed background color yellow. And from left 50 pixels and top 50 pixels. And here you can see that the this div one is fixed. Static. Static. The default value places the item in the normal flow. Fixed. The item is absolutely positioned in a fixed position on the screen even as the rest of the document is scrolled. Let's remove this inline. Now here you can see that the div1 is fixed. Let's write CSS for absolute div. Position absolute. Background color green. From right 50 pixels and top 50 pixels. Let's assign this class to div third. Absolute. A specified absolute positioning. The element is positioned in relation to its nearest non static ancestor. Let's create a new class. Relative div
and the position relative background color blue and from left 50 pixels and top 300 pixels let's assign this class to div2 relative the item is placed in the normal flow and then shifted off offset from that position subsequent flow items are laid out as if the item had not been moved let's assign these classes to other div Position static is the default value. Whether we declare it or not, elements are positioned in normal order on the web page. Position relative. An element's new position relative to its normal position. Starting with position relative and for all non-static position values, we are able to change an element's default position. But only defining position relative is not enough. We also need to set the element's coordinates with helper properties. Absolute In absolute position, in position relative, the element is positioned relative to itself however in absolute position element is relative to its parent an element with position absolute is removed from the normal document flow it is positioned automatically to the starting point top left corner of its parent element if it doesn't have any parent element then the initial document html will be its parent Since position absolute removes the element from the document flow, other elements are affected and behave as the element is removed completely from the web page. Fixed Like position absolute, fixed positioned elements are also removed from the normal document flow. The difference is they are only relative to the HTML document, not only other parents. They are not affected by scrolling. Sticky Position sticky can be explained as a mix of position relative and position fixed. It behaves until a declared point like position relative. After that, it changes its behavior to position fixed. The best way to understand CSS positioning is by practice. Keep coding until you have a better understanding. If something is not clear, I will answer your questions below in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then please subscribe to this channel and like the video. And if you have any question, then leave it in comments section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye-bye.